Hello everybody, this is Game God Fluent, and thank you for joining me for episode 8 of Let's Play Thea the Awakening. Last time we left, we lost uh, Bagufala, and we're trying to make up for that now. Um, I believe we have some hexes to get rid of. Uh, we've built the meeting hall, and oh no. Oh no, stop that. Where did our turn notifications go? We have new villagers. And the new villager is... Bedgost. The hunter. Who is not equipped. Um, so let's go ahead and get Bedgost equipped. He's good with traps, he's good with stealth. Very cool. Level 3 character. Um, 250 pounds, wow. How about... Iron Hatchet. And... Ooh, 98, 4 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 4, good quality. Let's get the 3 and 6. Comes with a wooden bow, it's a standard wooden bow, nothing breathtaking, but sturdy and efficient. It's bad quality, and let's give him quilted cloth. And how do I dismantle stuff like this? Go to inventory, food, resources, equipment, villagers. So how do I like, oh, drop here to dismantle, okay. So I'm not gonna dismantle actually anything just yet, but it's good to know how to do it. All right, so let's get him gathering. Oh, Bedgost is a good gatherer. That'll help there. Cool, okay. Um, so that was our new villager. Let's go to Zeodi and get this attractiveness curse. You went to the ruins of an old town, but Zeodi do not turn to you, but one speaks. Man, children have come. You seek our aid and guidance. You lost three meat and 47 vegetables. What sort of challenge? Curse deformed has twisted our bodies. We will steal the nymph's hair. Four times sneaking. Okay. Let's reshuffle. Cost enemy plays extra card. I don't like that. Discard one random card. I don't like that either. So she's just going to have to stay and get closer if necessary. Um, let's play in the table, and let's confuse. Oof. Let's confuse. No valid target for that skill. Well, get closer. And get closer. Should be okay with this challenge. Hmm, guess you can't use Confuse twice. Let's 
see how this goes. As I light a smoke here, got rid of one sneaking. Now why didn't my second card act on that fight phase? It just it seems a little bit random to me. Not random, there's obviously a, a rhyme and reason to it, but I can't suss it out how it's going to play each hand. Alright, we're playing at table. Plays its two cards. We'll get closer. And uh, that should be all we need. Simple like that. We've stolen the nymph's hair. You have proven yourselves to be worthy of spring. We take the curses away from your souls. Return if you need aid once more. Awesome. Plus two XP. Okay. So that is done. Christian had a good suggestion to make a warrior party and go hunt down monsters. That's kind of what these guys are. It's my exploration party. I've got two warriors, a hunter, and a strong craftsman. Or is that gatherer? I always get that confused. What is Sasha? The pickaxe is a gatherer, okay. And this icon, the book, or whatever, is a craftsman. But Sasha is rather strong and does good damage and stuff. So this will be my hunt down monsters party, but we're going to um Well, we're going to hunt monsters. So let's go ahead and get on that. The night is quiet and calm. Oh no, Suddenly, not again. Beneath your feet without any warning. Get ready for trouble. You feel the grumbling of the earth and you fear Mokosh's wrath is upon you. But this tremor feels somehow different, less natural. Try to find cover. We'll auto resolve that. There is a series of distant thuds and groans, then several short yet violent rhythmic shakes. Then, slowly, the sounds and the tremors move away. And we've got plus 10 bless of will. Damn, it sounds like some sort of creature. 3 XP, 1 research point. Is shaken with tremors. Groans and thudding footsteps are heard throughout. Try to hold on to something. Many people get bruised and Ooh. thrown about, but you find some useful minerals. Six sandstone, it looks like, but everybody took some wounds. Damn these treasure tremors. Two meals made. Where's the enemies seen? Down there, okay. I want to go fight them. Or have an encounter. A falling star shoots down the night sky as if to guide you. Let's see where it leads us. You follow the star and come across a small chasm where you discover a giant spider nest. The spider saw your approach as well. Two arms! Ooh! This is gonna be juicy. Ah! I don't like my 28 Tavardistoy there, but oh well. I don't like giving them an extra card to play. That's too much. Let's go ahead and play Mila. Confused? Oh no. Well, let's conf... Oh, I don't want him to confuse. So just get closer. And... Oh, first action one. First action eleven. Sure. 
and hope they don't play a first action, but they used their Spider Queen already, so I think that was their only Tactics card. Or is this the Tactics hand here? Let's see, um, play you. And you. Mm -mm. That's just their hand split up. Um, get closer. And let's rock and roll. I don't know how this is going to act. I gave her first action, I guess. Oh no, she's confused. I gave Tavardistoy first action. But he didn't seem to get it. We'll get it this round. Mila gets her turn. Sasha gets a kill. Ginger gets a kill. Even Irene gets a kill. All that's left is the Spider Queen. Very nice first round. They've got to play. Ooh. Ah, but we've got Tavardastoy. So let's play him. Let's get a first action. Now that should be an instant win, right? If I just... Shield ally, just in case. Um, shield ally. Now I should have first action in this fight phase, right? Okay. The bar destroy in one felling swoop kills the spider queen. The spider nest is no more and you see the fallen star shine upon you with Zoya's grace. Gain an ivory bracelet. Two spider silk and a what is it? Black sword. And Mila got one wound. Rejoice and leave this place. And we also got a blessing of dexterity for a set number of turns. And six more spider silk. Two XP and a research point. Cool. So let's check out that equipment. See if anyone could use the black sword. Four four. Poison, he's got a black sword. It's an upgrade for her, but can she wield it? No. If we take the Book of Wisdom off, though, she can wield the sword. She does one more damage, one less shielding, but one extra poison. Let's go ahead and equip that. Can anybody use the short sword? Absolutely not. Okay, and the Book of Wisdom. And the Collar of Backstab and Armor. Hmm. Who's got Backstab? We can give that to Mila. She's got six stealth. So let's give her that. And the Book of Wisdom for Intelligence. You can also give to Mila. Giving her eight intelligence. She's very well-rounded. So we're going to take this party and continue down here. like how this episode's going so far. We've got some spiders to kill down here. Let's, um... Okay. The whole land is shaken with oh. Try to hold on to something. Damn these tremors. Free XP. Let's see what we got from the well. Sandstone. So we're going to try to clear some of these monsters. Let's go hunting.
See, hunting's interesting because it doesn't do direct damage, but we don't really have any hunters with us. So it's kind of like, uh... The hunting cards are generally pretty easy to beat, though. Oh. So for some reason, he got first action there. Let's see... Ahead and shield ally. Huh. Oh, that was a waste of a card. Oh boy. I do not know about this one. That works. Eh. Again, they don't take direct wounds, so it's really much better to go this route. Okay, we've got two turns. We'll play Sasha. And get him a first action. Support ally. That should be good. <clears throat> hmm, that works for me. Hunted them down and got a wooden ring, some spider silk, and a two handed boar spear. It may not sound like much, but a well balanced, sturdy wooden pike is all you need for a good hunting day. Good, take the loot and continue. Alright, so let's check out the boar spear for our hunter, Jindra. Four damage, piercing damage. Yee, not very good. What about the wooden ring? Two sturdiness, one gathering. So who's got sturdiness? And one gathering. Get some sturdiness for Tavardistoy. Which in physical and sickness challenge damage the enemy and heal you for sturdiness amount. Could only help. Alright, let's move right there. From our well we got more sandstone. down this way. Getting a research point is hard to do it seems. Now. You come across a dead body lying in some sort of ditch. The corpse is literally stomped into the ground. Search the body. You search the corpse and find some of its belongings still intact. Now that you take the time to look at the scene, you see that the ditch is actually more like a giant footprint. You see some more stuff lodged under the body, but you also feel the ground shake beneath you and strange sounds coming towards this place. Okay, so we got a citrine axe, small handy max made with citrine, a sturdy choice for any battle, and six spider silk. Perhaps whatever is coming will have more treasure, so wait for it. Uh... Stay and wait, 
Oh my. A huge half-naked humanoid creature, the size of a dragon at least, if not larger. The giant doesn't seem to notice you yet. Run away. Just auto resolve it. to run away, but not without damage. The giant walks away, but it kicks a stone as it walks, and the rock hits one of you really hard. Damn it, better keep running. One XP, and we camp. Yes, I'm aware. <gasps> okay, whew, minus one the movement point. Filled with uneasy dreams and strange sounds rummaging through the village. Begin the day, perhaps for once nothing bad happened. As the sun finally rose, you began your day's chores, and all seemed fine. But alas, it was not so. Within hours, you discover dead animals lying by the village well, and soon after, people begin feeling sick. Your well has been poisoned. Poison gives wounds every turn and remains on until you find a way to heal it. Have all the water thrown out and the well boarded up. Without water, your people will not survive long. Not while they are ailing. But you also need to clean your well to restore order. Yikes. One of your rangers marks two spots on the map. One location, with the right herbs to help the poisoned. But they are just herbs, so may not help everyone in time. Or the second location, where you can find a water spirit. The spirit has the power to cleanse your well and heal your people. But remember, spirits are fickle creatures and could trick you. They are both far, so you will likely only get to one in time. Wow. Um, find the spirit. 2 XP. City ruins. Okay, we leveled up. Where are they? Okay, up there. So first of all, we need to camp ASAP. Um, we're camped. Let's check out our new skills. Natibul got health, tactics, arena medic, perception for Sasha. Oh, Bedgas got strength, health, intelligence for Brandon Millen, two intelligence for Nigo Slava. Strength for Saruba, strength for Univit. And from our well, we got leather. I don't want to leave my city undefended. How's Tavardistoy? Still has deadly wounds. Yes, we're idle. And a vegetable from the well. Well vegetables, yum. Well meat, even better. Iron from the well. Um, okay, we no longer have deadly wounds. He can travel 6 out of 10, that's good enough. We have to get up there and heal our peeps. The water spirit's our best chance to do so. Let's check how my peeps are doing. Oof. How are we supposed to get there in time? This is very bad. Despite the daytime, the sky is suddenly overshadowed by a thick, dark mist that slowly engulfs everything in its way. Oh Black no. Reminder of the days of darkness and their everlasting hold on fear. Even the bravest of souls feels a sudden dread as the black cloud slowly seeps into every corner of their surroundings and wraps them up in a suffocating blanket of dark energy. You could swear you see twisted faces and silent screams from within the darkness. You feel a cold chill running down your spine, and dry sweat covers your trembling body. Your very soul is now infected with the cloud. Huddle together and try to find cover. You try to Dang it! Hoping that the closeness of your comrades will strengthen your resolve. And indeed, for a while, it does. You crouch down on the ground, clench your jaws, close your eyes, and hold on tight to those sharing your fate. It seems like an eternity passes. Your spirit is nearly depleted, but eventually, you feel the warmth of the sun on your face. Slowly, you muster up the courage to open your eyes and rise again. You have survived. But alas, not everyone comes out unscathed. One of your companions remains lying on the face twisted in a sickening grimace of terror. Their eye is dark and empty, as if their very soul was torn out. You feel a heavy curse upon you, but even more so on your unfortunate companion. <sighs> the 
There's nothing more to be done. Leave this place. So she got a grave wound that will not heal until the dark magic is removed. Criminy, this is getting crazy. I really hope my peeps don't die by the time I get that cure. And then we have to go get uncursed again. Please, 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 please don't hurt us. <sighs> please don't hurt us. Okay, next turn we get there. And we're cursed doing it, but... You arrive at the spot marked by your ranger and discover a girl sitting on a rock, surrounded by unprecedented greenery and exotic flowers. She looks perfectly ordinary, if it wasn't for the fact that she is sitting here on her own, like a perfectly posed statue of perfection. You find yourself staring for a long while before you're able to think for yourself again. Forgive my mundane rambling, milady, but your beauty struck me dumb as an ox. The girl does not move an inch, but her eyes turn in your direction and her gaze melts your heart. Her voice sings in your head. Flatterer. But such words seldom come without a prize in mind. So what is yours, stranger? Speaking to you is a prize in itself. The woman does not respond, but waits for you to continue. My dear lady, I wish I could stand here and gaze upon you for eternity. Alas, I cannot. My people have fallen gravely ill as our waters have been cursed with filth. Your beauty tells me that you are a nature of great creature of great power, so I humbly ask. Nay, I beg for your aid. The girl looks at you for a time, and you could swear she smiles. Or maybe you just wish she did. She then moves her finger ever so slightly to beckon you towards her. Go to her. You get closer to the enchanting lady, and a warm light washes over you. Brave soul, I like it. We shall play a game, and if you win, I shall grant your wish. What if we lose? She smiles, the sweetest smile that melts your hearts again. Okay, so what's the game? The game is simple, my darlings. See that stone over the ridge? You now see an identical rock with an identical woman sitting on it, and a ridge that you swear was not there. If you can approach my sister and take her hair from her head without her noticing you, I shall grant your request. Beware. While I was once a siren, the mistress of the winds and the waters, my sister was Alconost. A sinister streak runs in her veins, even as we dwell here as mere spirits. Okay, we shall try your game. You turn to the other spirit and try to approach her unnoticed. Start sneaking. Can auto resolve that. It's only a two star. You sneak up on the mysterious woman and snatch a single strand of her hair. When you return to the siren, she is gone. But the hair you hold glows with a faded bluish light, like water. You feel the poison drained from your bodies, but alas, a curse falls upon some of you instead. Okay, Natibo's got a grave wound. Heavily poisoned is gone. Natibo also got a blessing of dexterity, as did the rest of our party. Leave. 5 XP. Cool. Okay, so now we need to get to Diziodi. rid of these wounds um i mean these curses everybody good to go shall we quickly kill some spiders hunt spider silk ooh and an ivory short sword good take the loot and continue a different type of ivory short sword well every item is unique to itself pretty much Two damage, five shielding. Okay, probably nobody could use that. So let's head towards Zeodi. I can't cross. Oh, no movement points. From our well, we got straw. Oh boy. 
come across the skeletal remains of an ancient dragon, clearly fallen many decades ago as the bones are covered in moss, vine, and partly submerged in the ground. If it wasn't for Lady Lada's luck today, you would have likely missed it. Collect the bones, but on Marina's wits, be careful. Dang it! You end up... <coughs> Excuse me. You enter the dragon's belly and search for usable bone fragments when you hear a crooked old voice. Ah, tasty young ones. Pretty faces come to my home. Come, come closer if you dare. An old hag emerges. This is surely a Baba Yaga. Let's kill it so we may learn her secrets. Damn, whoever this is, run away. One XP. And no dragon bones. Let's just go get uncursed and I'll feel a lot better. From our well, we got fruit. Well fruit. Found a cherry. Boom, 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 boom. You enter the ruins of an All right, we've done daughter. this. You seek our aid and guide it. If your body has been wounded by a dark hunting, we cannot resolve it. You've proven yourselves to be worthy of spring. We take the curses away from your souls. But Two XP. Um. You enter the ruin, but Zirdi do not turn to you, but one speaks. You seek our aid and guidance. If your body has been wounded by a dark Speak to the spirits of social. Two forlorn wraiths and two wraiths. We can uh, check this one out since we haven't done it. Um. Let's go ahead and play in the table. See how good we are at social challenges. Mm. Seems fairly straightforward. Um, Sasha and oh, very nice support for Mila. Have her get closer. Pretty simple challenge, it seems. Might as well, maybe he'll get a turn. I don't know. It's not gonna kill him, but it's a social challenge. Hey, you gotta kill. Flawless victory. You have proven yourselves Curses have been your lifted. We take Sweet. 2 XP. Alright, now we're back to how we were, but we only have five turns of food left. Um, and Christian was right. On wooded tiles, you can gather wood. On beach tiles, you can gather seaweed, even if it doesn't have the specific resource icon there. That's interesting. Um, from our well, we got seaweed. So let's head home and get more food. You approach the priests. Um, let's go hunting. I don't resolve it. Got some meat and a citrine axe. Oh, I forgot to look at those. Good. Take the loot and continue. Um, I have a couple citrine axes. Damage two. Damage eight and poison two. That's very nice. And he can wield it. But he's losing five shielding. Ginger? Oh, that's who I was looking at. Irina can't... Well, oh, can Irina? No. Mila? No. That wouldn't be good for Tabarda's story. No. No. Wait a minute. Oh, you're losing shielding. Hmm. No.
Okay, we've got new level ups. More strength for Tavarta, Stoy, and Mila. Wow. Herbalism for Jindra, Will, and Health. Attractiveness for Nevko, Distraction, Strength for Zona, Divination, Traps for Bedghost, Will, Craft for Bradamila. Okay, so I guess we're done crafting the, um, or have been for a while. Let's make more cooked meals. Vegetables, meat, wood. Bradamila. 12 turns. Looks good. This team can move down here. You fall through the ground into a dark and stale tunnel. Huh. The fall was rough, but it good. is possible to make your way back up. Now we can explore the tunnel. You venture deeper and deeper into the tunnel until you reach a crossroads. You feel the call of Velas to your right. Something down this tunnel has a very strong connection to your god. Whether this is good or bad, well, Velez is the god of the mystical and mysterious after all. Okay, go right. You go to the right and you walk for what seems like Oh forever. my gosh. It gets darker and colder with every step. Finally, you reach a large underground chamber. It is filled with shiny stones and all sorts of treasures. But on top of them, there sleeps a dragon. Leave now. You run down the tunnel then take a left at the crossroads. You find an exit, but as you leave the tunnel, the entrance shakes and collapses behind you. Leave 4 XP. We're certainly leveling up a lot. Okay, everything's good. Four war snakes. Ah, I just auto all that. Um, got a craft tool. 1 XP and 1 research point. Okay, so let's do a little inventory management. We've got 18 cam turns, only three food turns. Um, oh, I was gonna say, where's the cooked meals? Where are the cooked meals? Those are resources. Here's food. Okay, 449. So let's trade off our vegetables. And take... ...200 cooked meals for 33 turns. That seems about right. And... ...equipment we can drop off. All the stuff. We're gonna have to go through this stuff and dismantle some of it eventually. Craft tool. We'll leave here. Um, I we can drop off our resources. We need more wood. camps that looks good cool 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 and I wonder if I should save here if I've been playing a while I can't really tell plus one herbs um Spider silk and two duck and plum sauce. Duck or any poultry you have on hand served up with a nice fruity sauce. Good, take the loot and continue. <clears throat> I want to um not eat the duck and plum sauce. Well we get plus one health, but just for one turn. So we'll save that. Oh, if I head back to Astoya and carry five times of five types of foods. Let's see how that would work. I don't really have enough for five types. Hmm. 
Hmm. We should gather more fish, mushrooms, seaweed, and fruit. So let's make a food gathering party. And go grab some mushrooms. Okay, we can't camp just yet. Everybody gather the mushy rooms. Except Mila, she gets to do nothing. From our well, we got a string. Huh? Oh, those are the slavers. <clears throat> 14 mushrooms added. Some grain. Another night falls over fear, and restless souls of the damned seek out the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. But this night, a welcomed guest is seen in the shadows. A lapidoc, the spirit catcher. This bizarre-looking creature, resembling an overgrown toad with long claws, yellow warts, and a row of razor-sharp teeth, is actually a humble servant of Velez. In the old days, tasked with the hunting of wayward souls and misbehaved wraiths, but now, hopelessly overfed, and ever busy with his task of devouring evil spirits. Great, leave the creature to its task. Thanks to the Lapiduk, your people sleep well this night, and one wakes with greater resolve. Sasha gets a point of will, great. 2 XP. Close to leveling up and advancing <clears throat> in research. Let's keep getting those shrooms. I guess I'm going to save. Um, and call it an episode. I hope it's long enough. Um, I definitely want to play more, but I don't want to go too long in each episode. So this seems like it should be good. Lots of fun, man. This game is a awesome game. Uh, really just draws you in and you want to just keep playing forever. But unfortunately, I've got to make these into episodes and I can't just play for five hours straight. So I will see you in the next one. Uh, stay tuned for more. Looking good. Our expedition is healthy. Our members in town in uh, Astoya are healthy. So... Catch you next time. Much love, peace, and joy. Be kind to yourself and to others. And uh, much love, guys. So long.